Hi, I'm Ali Jennings and welcome to this Digital Camera Magazine video tutorial. In this lesson we're going to take a look at how to create contemporary abstract art. And basically what we have here is an image that was taken at Western Burt Arboretum last autumn. And whilst we were waiting for the light to change, we took a few pictures just trying to get the symmetry of all and the patterns of all of those tree trunks rising up. Now the light was coming through which made it incredibly difficult for taking pictures because of the contrast and so we had the idea of just basically creating some abstract art by applying motion blur. Now because all of the trees are going back into the distance we can apply a series of blur effects and use masking and layers to actually add depth and create an abstract art work. So if we take a look at the final results you'll see exactly what I mean. And here we have it it's all of those tree trunks and if you look at that you can really feel the light coming through those trees and basically that's three different amounts of blur applied to the picture which really brings in and gets that effect so to get started we're actually going to make some adjustments to the original raw file so if we open that and you'll find that on this month's CD and what we want to do is basically just boost a few of the colours and also just lighten up those tree trunks a bit as well just to give the image a little bit more depth when we start to apply those motion blur effects. But before we start we just want to check on the clipping warnings. At the moment I have them switched on. If you don't then just go up to the histogram. In the top left you have your shadow clipping warnings and top right you have your highlight clipping warnings. So when they're switched on, if I go down to my exposure and I reduce my exposure right down, you'll start to see the blue of the shadow clipping warnings appear. And if I take it right up to an exposure of plus four, you'll see the red which are the highlight clipping warnings. Now I want to blow some of the highlights just to get those real light tones within the picture. So I'm going to take the exposure up to about 0.7 and then I want to just lighten up the detail in the bark on those trunks. So I'm going to increase the fill light right up to about 76. Now if I zoom into the picture you'll see that the quality of the image is really starting to fall apart. We're getting loads of noise being introduced into those tree trunks. Now because we're applying motion blur this should be absolutely fine so don't worry too much about it but if you find that your end result is influenced by little specks of colour that shouldn't be there then it might be worth doing a little bit of colour noise reduction within RAW and you can do that by just clicking on the detail tab and just increasing the colour noise reduction slider. So once you're happy with the adjustments and you've got quite a light image with quite a bit of detail in, all you need to do is click open image. And that'll open it into Photoshop Elements or CS. So I'll leave you to do that and I'll join you in the next part where we start to play around with the colours.